Today, I'm opening up an Amazon custom return knife mystery box. This is all liquidation that has to do with knives. And I am a knife collector, so whenever I do knife liquidation boxes, I tend to sometimes keep too many knives. So I try to keep to my, my personal rule of no more than one knife to be kept for business use because most all my knives that I get are all from liquidations. And I, I do like to collect knives. So hopefully there's only one knife in here that catches my fancy that I have to keep. So you at home watching right now, you've got to cut me a deal. If I happen to keep two, three, four knives, you cannot email my wife again to let her know because a few people I think have given her a heads up like, hey, your husband kept a couple things from that last video. Do you know that? <laughs> and my wife's like, Clint, we've got to actually sell stuff to make money. I'm like, I know, baby, but I really need that knife in my collection. But anyway, so do we have a handshake agreement right now, a virtual visual handshake agreement that nobody will rat on me <laughs> no matter what this should be fun so yeah this box cost me 150 bucks there's usually at least like 10 to 15 knives in this box so most knives cost me around 10 dollars a piece in that range and i've got out some knives before that sold by themselves for like 50 60 bucks i think the most expensive knives I've ever got out one of these was like 150 dollars knife that paid for the whole box Let's see what we got right off the bat. This box looks really good. If you look in there now, you can see right there on top, I see a K-Bar, I see a Spyderco. Those are two very good brands of knives. So right off the bat, let's go ahead. Let me pull up this K-Bar. In my last video, I actually kept a K-Bar knife because I've been wanting one. So I figured, it was time to keep one. Let's see what this one looks like. This is very similar to my other one. This is actually pretty cool. This one actually has a United States Marine Corps like emblazoned on the blade right here. It's still brand new. Nice handle to it. Um, I want to pull out my other one that I kept from my previous video to see like the main differences. I know uh, like uh, this one looks like it has more of a K-Bar Marine Corps theme to it. The other one, I think it was a black sheath and a black handle, I think it was. I have to go and actually pull them out and see which one I like best. And I'll keep that one I like best. Let me go ahead though, let me look up this one. Let's see how much this one sells for. Looking on Amazon right now. This sells new on Amazon for $84. The K-Bar full-size US Marine Corps fighting knife straight. Sells new at $85 for Amazon or, or 84 90 85 bucks on ebay probably like a good 60 65 plus shipping i'm guessing and hey, that's not bad right there let's see what we got next this one is a bubble wrapped let's see what kind of knife we got in this one. Oh, that's different looking feels pretty decent oh it's a gerber too nice handle to it let me look at this Gerber really quick, see if I can find something on this one. See if I can find value. Looks like on eBay, this sells pre-owned condition without the original box for maybe around 30. 30 as high as 40. So do like $35 average. So that's not bad right there. Not a super expensive nice knife or anything, but that's not bad. Take that. That's so what we have here. We have another one that is bubble wrapped. This is a, it's a made in Sweden. Called a Morak, Mork Nil. <laughs> I probably butchered it. Feels like a nice knife. Nice uh, thicker blade to it. It is used, it's not new. Let's see if I can find something on this one. I don't know value of this knife. So looking on eBay, this brand is actually called Morik Niv? I can, okay. It's honestly, it's, it's maybe, uh, used condition, maybe 10 bucks. That is one is not very expensive. Much, much cheaper knife right there. Let's see. I'm going to save this Spider Co. for a little bit later. I don't want to open that thing up too quickly. That one could be pretty expensive. Oh, here we have a uh, uh, 
Swiss Army Knife. All-in-one Swiss Army Knife. Brand new. How much do these go for now on Amazon? I haven't sold one of these for... It's, it's been a while. I used to get Swiss Army Knives a lot in old liquidation pals from several years ago. Uh, sells new for like 25 bucks on so eBay. Probably like, what, $15 right there for the uh, Swiss Army Knife. But 15 more bucks, okay. Let me pull out one of these big boxes this time. This one is called a W-E-K-I-T, a Wicket. Probably mispronounced that. Okay, we kind of have just kind of like a uh, like a butcher's knife. Ah, there we can you kind of see it, right? I got a butcher's knife. I have to do a little dig in here for a second, see if I can find anything about this. Looks like on eBay, this is a uh, a Wii Kit utility pairing knife, six inch chef knife, Japanese, sixty seven layer guy Yuto, whatever that is, not too sure. It sells open box for about 30, 30 to 35. Not bad, not bad right there. Once again, let's see, this one's a CR or C something, CJRB or whatever that says. Sometimes companies make their logos, make them kind of hard to read sometimes. Oh, it looks like we have, I think I've had this one before in a liquidation palette. Yeah, I've had this one before. Little tiny knife, or much smaller knife. On Amazon, this is actually kind of an expensive knife. The brand is CJRB Cutlery. It's a folding pocket knife, Rhea. Small tactical knife. It sells new for $55 for this colorway, the Macarta. $55 knife right there. We're not expecting it was that much. It's a decent quality blade, though. You can tell just by handling it. A cheap blade compared to like a better quality blade and 55 bucks for like a small little carry knife right there that's not bad yeah right now I mean, i'm already like majorly in profit already probably double my money back at this point would be too surprised here we go kershaw i really like my kershaw knives this knife is a kershaw knife and i think this actually might be the exact same knife i actually held back one of these from a, like a second knife the exact same one from a previous box because this Kershaw is a fantastic knife used for box openings. Stays pretty sharp, even uh, using it to cut through cardboard a lot. And this one, it's the same one. Yep, it's the same knife. Oh, that blade tip of that one's broken. That is a heavily, heavily used knife right there. But the blade tip on it is completely broken off. I mean, it is a heavily used knife. That one was used and abused. Honestly, broken blade. There's nothing there. There's nothing. Here we go. Oh, this, oh, the Smith and Wesson little blade. We sold a lot of these on eBay. This knife, I think it was like a lot of like three or four. It's not very expensive. See, it sells new for 15 bucks on Amazon. I think we sold like a lot. I think it's like three or four for like eight bucks a piece. And uh, they did sell. It took a few weeks, but they did sell. Let's do the Spider Co. I'm done waiting. There's like five knives left. Let's break out the Spider Co. If you, if you know knives, you know Spider Co. is a fantastic brand. It is a high quality brand. And what do we have here? Nice. It is a much smaller Spider Co. Made in Golden, Colorado. Spider Co. Ball number CTS BD1N. Smaller knife. You can always tell the Spider Co. by like that hole in the blade. Smaller knife, but I guarantee this still sells for pretty good money. This Spider Co. UK pin knife, leaf lightweight folding utility pocket knife sells new on Amazon. For $73.85. So eBay is probably a good 60 bucks right there for just this knife. That one is a pretty nice blade right there. That should sell very, very easily. I won't keep that one. Um, if it was a different kind of spider coat, maybe a little bit bigger, I might hold on to it. But as of right now, 
I won't be keeping these knives. The, the K bar, I'll have to compare it to my other one that I got in like a previous box, but I think the other one I think I like better. Right now, there's no knife in this box I'll, I'm gonna keep, so <laughs> we're actually, we're, we're doing okay. This one's called the Grand Way. It looks like a, I think a Swiss Army knife. And yep, that's what it is. It's kind of like a, uh, kind of like a Gerber knife. All in one kind of knife, does a little bit of everything. These are actually very, very handy knives though. I'm just gonna guess, guesstimate price, probably about 30 to 35 bucks for that knife. I'm not gonna look it up, because it's probably about 30 to 35 in that range. Here we go, this one's a bigger box. This brand is Tuo. We've had this one before in Amazon liquidation boxes and pallets. It's like a pretty nice knife. That's, that is a big one too. That is not a small knife. It says it is a 2 Cutlery Fiery Phoenix German Steel Slicing 12 Inch Blade. This knife on Amazon only sells new for 30 bucks. So eBay, hopefully get about, hopefully get like 20 bucks out of it, hopefully. Let's see, we've got another, oh, this is, this is the same brand again, that Moractive knife from like the one that was bubble wrapped earlier, if, if you remember that. Looks to be the exact same knife. This one is still in the box though. Has the box, carrying case. Yeah, that's that's the same knife. I'll have to go back. I don't remember what this cost. I'm not gonna look it up again because we've already looked it up once this video, but how much did that knife cost? I don't remember now. Last one in this box. This says it's a Boker plus B-O-K-E-R. Boker? Boker? Got a carrying case. What kind of knife is this? Small knife in that big box with a lot of packaging. Looks like it's a kind of like a Damascus steel kind of a blade. Feels like a quality build. I don't know much about this brand. Hopefully it's a good and let's look it up. Looking on eBay, having trouble finding this knife. Boker's actually a pretty decent brand. I'm seeing them like as low as 50 and as high as like 100 for other knives. There are some that are like over a hundred. I mean, on average, between like 50 to a hundred bucks with this knife. So average it out, maybe say like $75 or so. I, I can't find this exact knife. It's gonna take more time to research this like after the video is done, but that's a good knife. And this box on though, I mean, that's possibly around a $75 knife. Maybe even more than that. I, I'm not too sure yet. So all in all, this is actually, I think a pretty good video. It's got to be probably at least three times my money back, if not four. Box is only 150 and there's several knives in here. Th pretty decent price knives. So happy with this. I really enjoy these Amazon Custom Return knife liquidation boxes. It's usually very, very good value. And this time, there's actually no knife I'm going to keep. Amazing, right? <laughs> if you haven't already, go down there, click that subscribe button if you enjoyed this video. I upload this channel every single day. Have not missed an upload coming up now on four years. No missed upload. I upload daily on this YouTube channel. So come back tomorrow for another free video to watch.